Hey there folks, and welcome back to Wildermyth. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing just fine myself. I have an interesting story to tell you about my stupid cats. They found a moth the size of like a quarter. It's bigger than a quarter with its wings out. And they were going absolutely nuts in the kitchen and downstairs area just chasing after this thing they swatted it out of the sky they beat the hell out of it when it was on the ground uh, needless to say it's dead but you know i was pretty impressed by how much effort they put into it and those animals i did not want to get in their way because they would have killed me too so so that's th those animals are crazy and that's all i'll say there uh, you know getting back to wildermyth though if this is the first time you're joining us, let me just kind of give you a recap of what we're doing here. This is the Enduring War pre-made campaign on the Walking Lunch Hardest Difficulty with carved in stone modifiers in action. So there's no resetting or reloading if I make a bad decision. Uh, this last run, this last episode rather, was a really long Act 3 where I had to fight through a whole bunch of stuff, and then they redirected me around to approach the light over here. And we're about to do it. I believe it is the final fight of the chapter, so we will dig right in. We kind of perfectly timed our timer so that we won't get any more calamities. And yeah, it's some kind of glowing light. We're going to see what it is. So, yeah, before I dig in, though, you know, if you enjoy Wildermyth and do not hate my playthroughs, consider subscribing, liking the video, and leaving a comment. I'd love to talk to anyone else playing this. I've said it a few times already, but, yeah, based on kind of atten in interaction and how many people watch these things, I will definitely be finishing all the campaigns, but we'll reassess afterwards as to whether or not I continue with this series. So, so yeah, let's dig in. We are going to do this quest, the final of the chapter. Everyone at full life. A hollow return. The light had begun melting back into the earth as they trudged through Fox Timberland. I'm not sure whether to be relieved or worried. Wait a minute, isn't this around where Ardidius Forge is? She looks over the edge. It is literally Ardidius Forge. They continue. What's the old magpie gotten up to now? Ardidia? Are you here? Hello? We saw the um glow? Ardidia? They look around some more. What do you think? You're asking me. No sign of her inside. Boom! Crunch! Unless she's working on the roof? Zer boom. Jeez, what's going on here, guys? They're being a under siege, it feels like. Huh. Okay. Alright, we gotta fight a coachman. More Mar Morthogi are coming. Kill all enemies. Okay, so there is a really defensible location. Uh, there's no like one way in, one way out. Yeah, there's not. I think going outside is probably a bait. The spawn points are all over. Okay, it's a little concerning. I think I will box myself into this low wall room on the left here. Yeah, because they'll have to punch through this thing. Yeah, let's move everyone up. Just spend a double action to move. We'll get Pallid Free up there too. Now, Pallid Free does want to have fire. It's fine. I think this is going to be okay. We will bend here. Yeah, fine. They're going to attack doors. Enemies are spawning, of course. Yeah, fighting outside here is going to be a real bad idea. We'll put the castle in front. We'll put both warriors up front here. And we're just going to hang out, I think. I actually might have her crack the door. Yeah, okay. She's going to crack the door and then come back in. 
we'll set up an ambush there and then wait it out. I would like them to walk inside. That's a lot of enemies kind of spawning, huh? Go make a mad. Yeah, we made a mad. Good job. Cool. All right, with that in mind, I should be able to interfuse with this lantern and light them on fire. Good free hits. That should kill the watchman. There's the coachman. Set up an ambush if they walk inside. And we'll wait it out. Kind of interesting. Yeah, one dies. He probably is going to eat the fire. Oh, he doesn't. Very curious, huh? It's nice having the fire out there. It gives me a lot of visibility of what's going on. That's all the enemies, it seems. We need to kill this thing. Yeah, we're going to walk to this door and then beat the hell out of it. And that's going to have to be fine. I'm going to set the ground on fire now. And then I'm going to use the fire leash outside to kill some more enemies. Yeah. I'll take any damage I can get into the coachman. Sure. Set up an ambush again. And then we wait. Set up stalwart and wait. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah, they cracked open this side. That's really bad. That's really bad. Okay, we need to swap the warriors out. You're going to throw an axe. It's actually good I have this fire, right? I can kill the more thoggy dude back there. I didn't realize they had broken open that door, which is unfortunate. I will set up another ambush. I'm just going to Guardian, actually. If they walk in, they're going to have a bad time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, good. We'll also get a shot here. Cool. Cora got slammed here. Whew, okay. All right, the coachman is able to just run down this wall. So we need to deal with him in a very big way. Let's see what Castle can do here. If I fire leash from here, I do a big damage, but I think she needs to fire leash from up here and kill incoming enemies. Yeah, I think this is gonna be more valuable. All right, we're gonna disable stalwart. Take a shot here, I think, is correct. It's a good hit. Let's see. She can take another hit here. That is a dodge. I could put Korra in harm's way. How much damage is she doing with her strike? 11 with 3 shred and a crit? I can get this kill here. It's a little spooky to do this, but I think I am going to make the commit here. This coachman represents a big problem. Shield shear. And then a hit. That's bad. I mean, we may lose Korra here, actually. Because of the coachman. Really bad that I didn't get the kill there. That block on... Is not good. Yeah, she's going to run him over and then take a swing. Oh, wow, she got launched? What the hell? Oh, wow, yeah. Yikes. Her right leg has gone silent. Oh, boy. I don't want her to die. We're going to get her maimed. It's fine. Not good. Not good. Cora lives, though. What? That's crazy, which is great news. I can summon a fire out here. Kill this thing. Coachman's gone. 
And then I'm going to fire leash up here and deal with the sommeliers. That's really good. I'm going to put the ambush up here. She needs to be able to tank a little bit. I can't get her in here without taking damage, though, right? Yeah. But she only has two warding. It was really bad. Oh, but hold up, right? I can use Pallid Free here. No, she can't do it. She doesn't have the upgraded Ember Arrows here. But she can jump out for stealth here, which I think is going to matter. Yeah. I'm going to back Korra up in the corner here and set up a defense. Ugh, that's awful. Good job, Castle. Fire sucks, but it's fine. They have the warding. Ugh, this thing's just dodging. They ignore fire, so I don't really care that much. Here we go, here we go. Ember arrows, through shot, excellent. Kills those two. We now just need to deal with this thing, and we win. Set up an ignite on it. How is this thing so strong? Swap weapons, I could stab it. With, I can actually put the mace to good use at long last. It's maybe not that strong. We don't really care about the fire, though, right? It's kind of an awkward location, right? It's kind of strange. I guess I'll move Korra up a bit. So I can get the Inspire trigger here, and then Guardian. Weird, right? Just hit, please. Of course. He's too powerful. I don't need the fire outside. This attack is really weak. I'm actually in a very weird position here, right? Yeah, I'm in a strange one. I think the... Interesting. I don't really have a good solution. I'll take the discus here. I can't use it right away, but I'm gonna get breathed on again. Ah, yeah, there's the sommelier that I knew was coming. Yeah, fire. Alright, finally. Finally, he hits something. Like, I don't care if they stand in fire, which is actually a really weird thing. I guess they probably shouldn't stand in fire, but like, sure. I'll take a kill, yeah. Every kill is good. That was our first maim of the run so far, which is really unfortunate, but there's really no reason to risk this, huh? He's just going to stand and fire and set up a shot prepared. And she's going to move out of the way and wall here. And it's going to be cool. Yeah, I want it to work if it has to do hits to me. Please hit. Excellent job. Good, good job. You hit a thing. It's another spec deck. I could just put it in front of the door and set up another prepared shot and then just wait it out. Because it has to engage. It's going to walk through fire and then get shot in the head. Yeah, cool. There's no reason to risk myself here. Interesting. Theoretically, there are more enemies at play. Huh. All right, let's camp it then. See if it moves. 
All right, we're going to put... Does she take damage here? No, she has three warding, so she doesn't care about fire. Yeah, she does not care. Cool. We're going to have you open the door and then run. And then flee. We just wait here. I could actually just bounce this fire leash thing around until I see an enemy. Which is kind of funny. It can scout for me. And then we'll ambush on the door up here. I heard him. Oh, it's the wardrobe. I even knew that thing spawned, huh? Thing's probably spawning a ton of stuff, huh? Yeah, almost certainly. I need to just play it cool, I think. There's no reason to charge into this dude. Yeah, it's fine. He's gonna spawn a dude. It's actually interesting, is he, he doesn't spawn unless he actually aggros on something, so I get free hit. Wow, well, it's just free kill, huh? Cool. That is the last one. Alright, we only lost one person, which is sad, but fine. Bonus damage. Korra will retire next chapter. I should put this into Pallid Free, probably, yeah. Without a trace. They patrolled the surrounding forest for four more days. There were no more Thoggy sightings, but no sign of Ardidia either. They looked around. Maybe it's time to go home. Unless you want to while away your years in peace in Ardidia's backyard. He looks sad. Uh, doesn't it bother you, though? All this nonsense, and how here we are, entertaining the squirrels with nothing to show for it. Not nothing. I resent all my accomplishments to date being called nothing, sir. They look around. Come on, Millstanner isn't so far. What should we do when we get there? Ugh, collapse, probably. After that, who knows? There's something magical about watching a town square in the evening. Alright, more Thoggy. Chapter 3, complete. We did it. It's a really tough run. Really tough in general. During the years of peace, Castle and Pallidfree were stopped by a traveling woman, resident of that small village in Lunander Woods where the Great One once feasted. She thanked them again for slaying the monster and ended in the darkest days of her life. Castle made a few snide comments, but inside she... Wait, was there something else there I missed? Inside she dot 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 wasn't actually mean, question mark? Anyway, while out for an evening stroll, Pallid Free accidentally locked eyes with a forest squirrel. Their friendship would endure the passage of harsh winters and joyful springs. Hey, don't wrinkle your nose at me. Think my perfume's too strong? Tolwyn was acquired by a family of cats for a few seasons. She would watch them stalk birds in the mornings, and eventually reach the conclusion, cats are terrifying. Cora watched the children of Milstanner grow to adulthood. Nowhere could she feel time pass more strongly than in their faces. Pallidfree would always find excuses to visit Till Mill Smelter. Her pan wouldn't sit fat, flat, her fire poker wasn't pokey enough. Whatever the reason, it had absolutely nothing to do with the strikingly handsome smith who sometimes brought his work there. I've been wondering, did you always secretly hope I'd grow up to be a hunter? It was always clear when you were meant to be. I had surprisingly little to do with it. Gwyn Brisbane and Cora Kitlich's daughter has joined adventuring, reached adventuring age. Allah Offgood has joined the foundlings of the Gladheart War as a hunter. Okay, we'll take piercing shots. It's a decent start. She is going to be behind in levels, which means that 
Quelling Moss is not bad. I think the Piercing Shots is going to be better, though. Transformations, right? Her right leg was maimed. Hmm. I could give her Jump Jolt. It's kind of interesting, right? The bonus damage scaling is nice. And it, I mean, it replaces her axe, which she wasn't really using. Although, if I found a shield, that would feel a little better. I will say... I'll say hmm, no or yes. If I find a shield or build one, this is not great. It's kind of an interesting decision point, right? It is otherwise strong, though. Yeah. I should probably take this, give her a ranged option. That's worth it, I think, right? Yeah, that's worth it. I'm going to take this. It, it also looks cool, right? Like, I'm fine with it. Nah. It's only four damage. That's terrible. It doesn't pierce or anything. No, this is trash. We do not want Pallid Free to lose her bow. Okay. Upgrades. Now, this is chapter four. Who's... Is anyone retiring at the end of chapter four? Castle is not. Pallid Free is not. Talwin is not. Gwyn is not. Korra is. Yep, she is retiring. So we will be a warrior down. Okay. Also, let me rename Allah off good to have the correct last name here. Kitlich, please and thank you. Okay. Interesting, interesting. All right, so first things first. I think I need to upgrade my... What does she have? Wow, there's a discount 14 on her staff. That's pretty exciting. That's very low cost. Plus four spell damage is great news. He's already got a tier three bow, which is nice. She's got a tier three axe, which is good. I need to upgrade her bow. I don't have enough spell threads. No, there is a discount here, which I think is going to be worthwhile with discount 14. I'm going to click that. There's no reason I wouldn't. Armor, ugh, spell threads are the bane of my existence, it seems. Yeah, spell threads are tough. It's only two legacy points to get a max level weapon for Talwin. Let's see, armor is probably the biggest value for folks. I can just craft him armor. Great news, I'll do that, yeah. Cool. I can craft her armor too. That is a big improvement, right? It is a big improvement. It doesn't actually even hurt my reserves much. It's the spell threads I'm running out of here, which is the unfortunate thing. Yeah, it's all about that spell thread. Tough. I do think I want to upgrade her armor. Armor 1 is not enough. Armor 4 feels much better. Yeah, this is correct. Cool. If I can give her a tier 3 bow, it's 2. It's only 2. That's fine. If I see a spirit, I'll give her the spirit. Yep, make her feel strong. And I will spend seven. It's a lot. No, I won't spend seven on this. I don't think this will do. I think for now we've spent a lot of stuff. I want to save my 13 legacy points for calamities. Yeah, fine. Okay. Chap new threats. Brogan. 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 It worked. No. Oh, interesting. Turns out the dude turned himself into this thing, huh? You didn't. Please don't be afraid. There is no need to be afraid of your Ainlof. You are not Ainlof. Brogian, we should be celebrating. I can make you a body too. And then we will find others. No! 
This is wrong. She charges off. Times of peace and times of strife grind their great circles. And the star of war makes its way across our sky again. It's official. A bunch of people at Richstone spotted them. Oh, that's sad face. Right? That's the face I made too. But this time we've got an advantage. Look. The foundlings of the Gladeheart War can turn the tide. An entrance splits the boulder north of Tilkmin Smithery. I found it attached to my door. She looks down. Tilklin Smithery is far out, but not impossible to reach. It's not that, it's... I love a scavenger hunt as much as the next gal, but... Uh, do you have any better ideas? The shadows deepen. Eliminate Morthoggy bases. And head into the smithery. Tough. Okay, so where are we at? All the way over here. We're going south, it looks like. It's a big stretch of land. It's a lot of sea, actually. So I think the main points are going to be here and here. So I'm going to prepare some defenses while waiting for people to group up. Let's see, who are you? Tallowin. Okay, yeah, so here we'll put Tallowin on this. Yeah, this will be fine. And then we'll put defense with castle here. This will at least get them all to collect up, which I think is going to be important here. They're going to have to do that anyway, right? Okay. I do want to bring castle with me, right? There's no way I could just like not bring castle. So who am I not bringing with me here? I need to level up my new characters so that they don't suck terribly. Who could I spare, though, huh? Really, it's got to be Alla. Like, she's redundant with my two archers. Yeah, so here's what we're doing. We're going to send Alla over there. And then everyone else is going to go to the right here and clear these out. The other five. Yeah, fine. Incursion. I had a feeling the incursion would go this way. Kind of sucks. It's Gorgons, huh? How many days out is that, actually? 42 days? It's got a long way to move, huh? Okay, that's fine, actually. I need to clear out more Thoggy locations, so yeah, we'll do it. Guan Water Mill. Where we find ourselves. The daughter of a renowned hunter. Must have had some dramatic tales around the dinner table growing up, huh? Eh. Fighting more Thoggy wasn't dramatic. That was just something your father's friends did. A life where you could trace your whole family tree within a few miles. Uh, now that seemed far-fetched. Can you imagine sleeping in the same house your whole life? Let's see. <laughs> There's a certain peace it might bring. And miss out on the adventure? Never. Yeah, for sure it's that one. Agreed. Absolutely. <laughs> You spend enough time out here with a band of heroes, you start to forget that perhaps we're the strange ones. But, strange one a strange one, I want to give you something. You're young, you'll use it longer than I will. What is it? It's a compass. Doesn't work worth a damn, but it reminds me that if I pay attention, I'll know the way I need to go next. She hands it over. And she's happy about it. I, I guess, sure, why not? I don't know, seems like it's pointing towards the Morthoggy. I knew you'd find a knack for it. Silver Compass Talisman? Sure, dude. I'll take that, that's good. It loves some good gear. Coachman. And a wardrobe in my starter. Yikes. I really need to get... Oh, she's not here, so she can't even get it. Yeah, okay, whatever. Swap weapon. Can I start a fire anywhere nearby? Let's see. No. I could start one here, I guess. That doesn't create a great cleave line. Alright, castle. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to end this steel fire. No. 
I'm going to set the fire underneath this wardrobe to kill it. And then I'm going to fire leash it this direction to guarantee this kill. That will let Paladry move up and take a clean shot at the Watchman, I believe. Excellent. With a pinning. Very good. Cool. I don't feel too bad about this now. Does anyone need this spirit? Hold up. You have fire or bow. You could maybe use it on your sword, but I don't really care. You have the empowered bone bow. You have a crappy weapon. Can you get there? No. You're too slow. She could get here. I guess that's worth it then, right? If I don't get it now, I'm basically never getting it is the problem. So, yeah. I mean, let's start by dealing with this batch bee to the best of our ability. That's good. Sadly, there's no way I can, like, force this to work. I would like to get Talwin's sword upgraded here. It would be really worth it. I'm going to move her as if I might be able to make it. And then I'll wall up and... Guardian. We'll swap weapons to the axe. If it comes in, it gets slapped. Yeah, fine. It's a shame, but... Yeah, we'll get the kill here, which is no problem. Cool. I do think I lose that spirit now. Open the door. There's the butler. We'll shoot. Hold up, I'll take the shot with him. Gross. Can you throw an axe at this thing? Oh, man, you can almost get it. I can't have her charging in suicidally, though. That will be bad. I need to advance. Oh, here we go. I can move her up and have her bite it in the head. Yeah, she can bite it in the head. Good news. Yeah, because there's the coachman, right? The coachman is the... Re I can't run into this dude or he'll just destroy me. Yeah, that would be a problem. Okay. Let's advance here. Guardian up. Let's see. Do you have Paladin? You do. So I can move you a little and Guardian you up. That's very bad, actually. I'll move up for the walling here. Yeah, because I knew this thing's going to charge. And she gets yeeted. Good dodge. Ooh, buddy. That's a good defend hit. Takes that temp heal. She throws a heal at the coachman. Turn didn't go too bad. She could make it now. Okay, we'll think about her last. I'm going to back up here. Ooh, that's a really good cleave, though. If I, wait a second, I can do this and hit them both. That's fine. I killed the sommelier, which is great news. I need to worry about... this coachman. So I'm going to ignite under it, I think. Actually, we're going to do the weldling. Yeah, it's correct. Because now I can hop it over to the coachman. Good. I'll take that crit. We're going to advance our friend to a good shooting distance. Take the other shot here. We should be able to chew this man up, right? We sure can. Excellent news. Didn't even need the shield shear. And so we're going to now run our dude to get this... Tier 2 Stone Dueling Sword. It doesn't have to be pretty, but it is good. I'll take it. Great news. Tend the coals? That's a terrible roll. 
Okay, he's gonna now do some cleaving burning damage. That's very bad news. We'll back up. I shoot it in the head. Do a million damage to this thing. Shield shear. It doesn't actually have any armor. Interesting. I just do a ton of damage. That's cool. Alright, we took some hits, but that's fine. I think that clears it out. Great news. Cool. Good progress. Korra. She gets upgraded Paladin, which is really good. Yeah, it's just really strong. Upgraded piercing shots on Pallid Free. I love when armor is shredded. A tier 2 spear. Hmm. Where should this go? Probably on the mace here. If he has to have a melee weapon, he should have a spear for a long range stab poke. It is much stronger. Yeah, fine. Bonus damage. I should put that on Pallid Free, I think. Yeah, it's a good threshold for her. She's the real one that needs it. Take away. Or want me to grab you one of these bones for the road? It might be nice to have something to chew on. Oh, gross. Forget she's a wolf, right? Let's see. Heartwood hide fabric. I don't know if I really desperately need any of these. I need spell threads. So if there's a really good spell thread location, I think I'll take it. But at this stage of the game, I will just ignore them. Groundskeeper must be canceled here. Oh, boy. I'll cancel the butler. I should cancel the Ulf Ulsric. No, I want to save these because I want to stop any other ones that come up. Yeah, it's fine. Ulsric kind of sucks, though, but it's fine. More and more Thoggy bases. Sure, just keep doing it. All right, out of the rain. It's pouring out there and lightning. You were right. Stormy, he says. No one get alarmed. The way to Son Groen Archive follows dead roads, long washed to chalkstone, wheel scars, and memory. The uneven fields beyond this gorge get swampy, especially in fall. They water around the elbows of snowy woods like soaked blankets. Got this little cave, though. That has me curious. Yeah, it wasn't opened up like this before, unless I just missed it. On a forceful gust, the rain comes chasing them. The rocks slicken, fragrant and dark. Crunkle! That's, that's actually supposed to be thunder. <laughs> you two rain lizards enjoy yourselves. I'm going in. It's only a little... Or wait, how far back does it go? I wonder what we'll find. Probably rocks. As they stoop out of the rain... Cacow! Crackle, rumble, thrum, and scrake. The world gives a tectonic shudder, and from outside, obliterating the rain noise, comes the clatter smash of dropping rocks. Oh, they're buried in. It's no time before they're buried in darkness, listening to the earth grumble and turn over. As things calm, gritty dust stings their eyes, snuff stuffs their nose, and smelling of fresh split stone. Everyone all right? Everyone still here? Nice try, Lightning King. Core is me. I'm alive. Ah, uh, Gwyn here. I'm here, Talwin. Luckily, Gwyn's torch is still dry enough to light the lantern. Let's not lose the exit entirely. We're taking a longer look, I guess. Hey, is this worked, Stone? Huh, yeah. Yeah, the way forks. We got stairs here. Oh, God. Oh, I get stairs everywhere. And this is a... It looks random, but some other passage. Cold draft from there. Very cold. I guess we've stumbled onto something. I don't totally love either idea. Careful. Look under enough rocks and you will find a snake. You still saying that snake thing? I don't know. Interesting. So I do happen to know what we get from these. Right? The ancient stairs lead to the ability for me to get 
spells and infusions on any character at a cost of HP, or I could follow the chilly passage and take on a frosty dude. I think I'm going to take on a frosty dude. Maybe I see something good here. All right. What do you think's making it cold like that? Big subterranean lake with big blind white fish? Do you think the fish taste good? No? I mean, sorry, what fish? Inside the passage, the chill turns sharp and invasive. The draft steadies and mounts, moistening as they forge against it. It colonizes their hair, erecting a thousand tiny castles of frost that melt at a touch. Solid ice? It feels like ice, but it's milky smooth. It's beautiful. Stop talking like that, it's weird. Shh, what was that? A snow soft voice calls from within. Skio, hi yo! Oh, Talwin sets the lantern down. Yes, intrepid ch, -ch travelers, tip your tender toes in here. Take the frost inside your bodies and come and stand before my ch, -ch chair. Every long blown breath the creature exhales forms a clear, frigid note. Are you welcoming us as guests? How oh, can ye a careful question? Yes, guests, come on now. Winterlock, the craven cold, the bleakening worth, and wise white of winter. S -s Suchly and stingily was I named in songs the minstrels dared to sing, Skia. I like this guy and his weird sentences. Your speech rings almost musically to me. Are you a lonesome minstrel yourself down here, in your empire of ice, where you changed to be what you appear as now? Ah, imagine if I were a minstrel and watched charming countenance. All would have passed much different for me. Yes, and for the world above. I once walked your glade lands bright, all slicky and sticky, and sweaty and warm. You bring that odor in your heart-breathing ch chests. The tree things, bee things, bird wings, and worms. That was probably me. I should have washed in the rain. Oh, that's distasteful to you? I hate, I hate, hate, hate all parts of the sun-lusting and sultan and moss-mantled place. Winterlock's shrill shout, shout puts a clambering cold in each listener's lungs, like a deep and unerupting cough they'd wish out. I was hunted to my heels, you know, ch chased to the inhospitable bowels of the mountains, where only long toil could carve such chicey underways as these. At first I thought you said underwear, ha, huh. <laughs> but I mean, uh, do you want to stay here after a while, or why are we finding you here? That is because I made a promise, a promise I've since scolded myself to keep, that never I'd try my loved and only life there, where cold is called callous and an ember coddled and cupped. I swore to stay with my stratified ice. My lovely and long-boned ice, hi -yo. Until such time as I might walk again behind the whitening wind, and should that melt some world one day drip molten drops upon my ch chair, my shield, my tr trusty shield, I would raise high, and with it smash their heads, Shkia. Winterlock advances. Yikes. Talwin is bad at this. We could react with forks, force or talk him down. It's pretty bad luck either way. I guess we'll try reacting with force. It's not, I don't have a choice otherwise, so sure. She tries to go low for those tall skinny legs. Herk. Stop, Talwin. Winterlock freezes his feet to the cave floor in a flash. A woman alike to all the others. 
shivering at a mist's brush, shattering at a stern touch. Just, just a little sun-lusting woman. Hayu, he breathes on her. Enough, back from her or Winterlock straightens his curved, crackling spine, fixes each pair of eyes with his own, freezing them. Take her away then, and be all of you gone. See in this my warning, and bring it to every chill ward at home. I better go grab her, I'll guard your neck. Talwin, up you go. I'm fine. Back to your fireside, you fleshy fools. And remember who waits for the flames all to die. Winterlock, who blows with a wasting wind and comes one day to fill your cradles with snow. The dripping cave entrance has slid partway open, wide enough for them to slip out. As their eyes adjust, they assemble above the sodden fields that leave to Song Rowan Archive. Uh, you are all right, aren't you, daughter? I will be. I'm cold, is the main thing. I just feel like a kettle you've left out in the freeze. I need a thaw. Come, come on now. We've got clear weather now. Are we okay leaving him there, that winter lock? Do we ever go back for him? They never will, for they'll never find the buried crossroads again. Skew hi -yo. Winterlock, please be gone, we whisper awake the coals. Walk far from here, our hearth is happy, and children are not cold. Winterlock, wander on, we keen and clutch, our dampened wools. Stalk far from here, our hearts grow heavy, and children won't grow old. So we failed that check. We are suffering exhaustion, which is unfortunate. Also, an interesting thing, she now has the Everfrost hair effect, which gives her some charisma, which is interesting. So cool. We get a chance to set up here, which I think is good. Let's swap weapons here, take a bow. I will set up a fire to give ember arrows, and then ambush and wait. Cool. We will open the door. Yeah, that's a tough spawn, huh? But that's okay, we have Ember Arrows configured, which is very strong. Ignite. Yeah, we're gonna clear this room, no problem. I'll withdraw from this one back here. And Fire Leash into... Oh, that's unfortunate, huh? Take shots. Okay, he's just gonna block everything, apparently. We're going to take this big hit. And... Interesting. 84% chance to hit. I can guarantee a kill here by moving in. Good. Alright, cool. We made it. Whew. Okay, that's good. I will now put out the flames because I don't want them overtaking everything. I'll leave the infused one alive. Yeah, this is why I didn't want that. Without the fire, please. Extinguish. We should advance now. I want to keep this one fire up just for the ember arrows. Then we will wait here. Crack this door to the left. Take the ember arrow shot. Very good. I can, let's see, I can kill the butler. I think that's worth it, yeah. Take this shot. Very clean. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty clean, 93%. Should probably just light it on fire, right? Yeah, of course. Very good. We'll just hang out, I think. That should be everything in this room. Yeah, I, I don't get the spirit. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, there's nothing I can do there. Right. Let's see if I can maneuver back here and then withdraw from the fire in the room. Leave everything else the same. Cool. We'll wait for the turnover. Open door. 
take your prepared shot here. It's not beautiful, but it'll get it. Take the free kill. Yep. Now this wardrobe I need to put down, right? Yes. Yeah, I need to do that. Light it on fire. Always good. A lot of stuff in this room, but we gotta kill that wardrobe. Yeah, no choice. Really. Let's advance here. I need to kill the sommeliers, but they won't let me, so I'm gonna, just gonna kill the spectic, I guess. Or it can just dodge, it's fine too. We have Paladin, we can set this up. We'll guard here. We'll probably take a lot of damage here, I think. Sommeliers will shoot. Yeah, I knew this would happen. And of course, his archery sucks. Interesting choices. We'll advance here. I'll throw an axe at... Hmm... Kind of an interesting situation, right? I can get a double hit by moving to this position. It's good we kill one at least. I'm going to move up here. I'm going to shield shear it. It blocks it. That's fine. And now I'm just going to chop it and kill it. It's fine. I will ward and light a fire underneath this other dude. Good. I think that should be the last one. Right? Yes, it is. Excellent work, friends. Cool. Spectral Lantern. I guess I should give that to Allah. It is something. It is something. I'll call it that, sure. It is better than nothing. Whispered Secrets. Another one bites the dust. You two also done? They all have fallen, never to rise again. We know. Uh, who, who said that? I didn't hear anything. You okay, Gwyn? He looks angry. He still looks confused. Ah, I guess it was nothing. I thought I was skewered for sure, but you stepped in. Gwyn looks confused. We know what you did. No problem. You know I've got your back, sister. Uh, I'll, I'll catch up. You okay, Gwyn? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'll just be right back. We know what you did. You can't hide the truth forever. We know. We know the truth will be told. It's, it's coming from this tree. Okay, okay, you know. What are you going to do about it? You can't hide it. We know the truth. We know what you did. The ground around the tree's roots starts to rumble. From the moist earth, something gleaming emerges. What? What is it? Take it, take it. It's a secret. You like secrets. Interesting. I've actually never... I, on every character I've tried so far, I have successfully defied this tree... But I'm really interested, so I'm going to grab the thing. I don't know what this does, and I'm curious. Hopefully it doesn't kill me, but like... Who knows? Let's let's click it. Gwyn reaches down, clearing aside the loose earth. His hand closes around something, and... Oh, he falls in a hole? Oh, he stands up. He's glowing. He's still glowing. He walks back. Sheesh, there you are. So good of you to join us. I, I just needed to check on something. I'm all set now. Try to keep up, will you? Gwyn is inhabited. Ah, uh, so that's what that is. So that is... We dealt with this on the Age of Ulstrix campaign, actually, right? You get the inhabited quirk, and then you have to beat it out of them. Where is it? Yeah, you get the inhabited hook. Yeah. All right, we'll have to see. I will absolutely be building this Spell Threads song location because one, I need to heal, and two, it is worth it. 
cool. And truly, I think that is all we have time for on this episode. I don't want it to go too long. I think I should be able to clear these three areas and then swing back around and clear out these other areas on the next episode. The hope being that I can clear out chapter four. We're going to get some more extra episodes out of this series simply because it's a five chapter campaign. There's really nothing I can do about it. So, so fair enough. Hey, you know, thanks a lot for watching this. I do really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like or a dislike if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and stay tuned for what's next. Hopefully I can have some fun stuff in the next episode and we won't die. So yeah, take care folks.